This is a grade 9 class of over 100 students studying here at the Flexible Open and Distance Education Center in Lay. Amongst them is Charlie Karawagi, who has hearing and speech impairments. I'm born also with a disability. Yes, this is the first type, first of its kind that we got a, a student with disability because he is profound deaf and I think that's one, one way that you know we are bridging towards inclusive education. We want to embrace this type of people. This is, this is an opportunity that we have. Charlie says he's happy to be given a second chance to fold. The 21-year-old completed his grade 127 at Markham Road Primary School in Lay and was selected to do his grade 9 at Malang Technical Secondary School last year. Because his family couldn't afford for his school fees, he couldn't go to school. Charlie was enrolled here three weeks ago and enjoys class every day because he's not left out. He has a helper who has volunteered to assist him in class. I'm schooling in This is how the class has been for almost a month. Charlie's helper never gives up. He continues to communicate with Charlie by relaying what the teacher teaches in class. The school's principal, Nick Raka, says both the national and the provincial government should seriously look into these and provide facilities for persons with disabilities. We don't have enough uh, facilities to cater for such students like this. Like for example, this teacher is standing all day. There should be a special allowance in the classroom. We cannot provide that due to finance and all other things. But this uh, problem should be for everyone. Uh, the, the national government and provincial government should come together and you know, build facilities that can cater for such students. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.